I didn't see this one coming and yet here we are today at Forum Next, the big announcement, the Prusa Core 1. But uh, what do I think about it? Zach, react. Hey, Zach here. Welcome to this video. I mean, last Friday, we got a little sneak peek of a orange kind of door with a black surrounding. Like, you know, we keep you in the dark, something like that. And I was like, wait, 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 what? What's going to happen? We just got the Prusa Mark 4 S. Last year we had the Mark 4. What was that two years ago already? Man, time is going fast. Prusa isn't sitting still. They are working on something big. And now in this case, we have a fully enclosed Core XY 3D printer called the Core 1. I like that name. There's a reason behind that, that I like this name. And also capital letters. Core 1. Is there also going to be a Core 2? Maybe people will say like, of course. You see that on the top? It is still loading. So uh, let's give my thoughts and ideas about this brand new 3D printer. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Let's dive right in. So, this is the page, still loading. I hope I don't get too much lagging here. Prusa has now a trend. Uh, I don't mean like color-wise, like the black, orange uh, color scheme. I like the orange, and if you didn't know it, just put UV light over it and see what happens. You will like the ambience, let's say like that. So, on the Prusa Mark IV and also the Mark IV S on the display, underneath you had this little RGB light indicating different kind of status of, of the printer. But this one is just announced on the forum next. And in two days, I will be there and I will, you know, get more up close and personal with this printer. If you see some similarities, you are right. The screen used here is also used on the MK4 or on the Prusa XL. It is a similar screen that you will see passing by. For some reason, I see here something, you know, like taped off. Is that really the case? Yeah, thumb drive next to it. Of course, this is a fully enclosed 3D printer, something a lot of people always wanted. You know those 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 Mark III, Mark IV 3D printers in an IKEA kind of uh, leg table enclosure kind of thing. Or you could buy the enclosure kit. I also recommended the company that I worked for to go for a Prusa Mark IV S with an enclosure because they want to print engineer grade material in the end. So it's a perfect way to go. And now Prusa cannot stay behind. They had already the Prusa XL, which has also the Core XY system. And now they are applying it in this design as well. Right hand side, you will have the filament spool holder. It is at this moment, it is open. Took a picture with a model inside. With a model inside, reality, please learn from this. But it looks amazing, very clean. Um, we have here, an, uh, I, I don't know if this is a bar or something, like a rigid kind of frame for the X XY core, uh, motion system. Uh, so let's see if we can get more pictures. We are also going to take a look at the uh, YouTube video. Uh, So here it says G, G28 and M84. Why, why is this like that? That's weird. So we got here, we got here this, this, this line where I was already talking about. I don't know if they have something special with it. We have here on this side, we have an indent where the spool of filament is. On this side, we have something very similar. I don't know if that is the housing for the electronics, but I assume with something like this that the electronics are all based inside of the base of the frame. 20% faster, so the, the Mark IV 0.2 speed, this is a Groot sitting and smiling by, amazing, amazing, Prusa, keep doing this. So they are referring to a model from uh, Groot, it is a figurine from Guardians of the Galaxies, and it's not saying how big, but normal test print, not scaled, even though Root in Dutch means big, groot. Uh, but the normal print time on the Mark IV is four hours and 37 minutes. On the Mark IV S, at the same layer height, is four hours, 27 minutes. So you have a time saving of 10 minutes. But then on the Core 1, with the similar settings, but a faster printer, because it is a Core XY, three hours and 42 minutes. It's a big saving, quick count. It's like around the 45 minutes faster than the normal standard Mark IV S, which I think is great. So this is the model. We, we know this model, right? Great work. It is silent. It's um, 48.0 decibels. It's uh, less noisy than the Amsterdam kennels. So under the 50 decibels. So that is nice, not 55. 
So clearly visible on the on the right hand side we have the filament spool holder and I think it's also the only side where with a enclosed 3D printer you have a tons of options to print with. Yes, this printer is uh, is compatible with the MMU3, so a five multicolor option to to print with this fully enclosed 3D printer. Something that is amazing. So that was the GPEI board, you know, extending stuff and adding more mods to the 3D printer if desired. GPIO hacker board allows you to control external devices such as LEDs or uh, remote triggers for cameras. So I did hear somebody saying like, oh, there is also a camera built in. in. I'm not really sure about that. So like you can see here, uh, this is the whole frame. And just like mentioned here, we have this bar that connects the whole thing, makes the whole printer a whole lot more rigid. So the footprint is smaller than the Mark IV S, but it offers 30% bigger print volume. So it is then higher, yeah. So the original was 220 and in the new one, the Core one, you have a 270 millimeter, so 50 millimeter higher space to print stuff in there. Yeah, so it doesn't stick out. The footprint is still the same. And yes, it also is ready for a dry box. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is cool. That is so cool. So I thought like, okay, this is going to be another filament spool holder area. But no, it turns out that while it is a part to make the whole printer more rigid, they are using this space in order to store your build plates, organizers which you can uh, can print and attach using magnets because this is this is made out of metal it is magnetic so you can make some cool stuff and just house it inside of the printer how thoughtful <laughs> you can even put a magnet fish on there i didn't know that fish are magnetic but anyways we run a huge print farm with over 600 100 machines um i really want to visit that factory one day that is what they are doing they want to make sure that the printer it's not going to be huge 3d printer like the prusa xl but what they want to do is keeping the volume that you have in nice replacement for your old prusa mark 3s and you know that it fits very well i like the i like the style so the orange part is a nice handle what what it is possible to open the door he can even flip the inches okay so nice nice so you can put the door swinging to from right to the left but you can also put it on the other side then it goes from the left to the right so just like a door of the fridge where you can choose going like this or like this open very nice very thoughtful i think they watch my video easy maintenance you know what i say about maintenance huh clean the bed check the screws lubricate the moving parts and like you can guess, or like I, I can guess, so where with the i3 Mark II, the Mark III, Mark III S, you had a lot of rented parts and a little bit of hardware, uh, like frames, like rods, like gears, stuff like that. Now you see more and more that the printed parts are getting less, but you get more rigidity in return, where you have this 30-30 this, uh, aluminum extrusions as a frame and everything being in all metal but now we are getting a little bit different kind of machine where the whole frame the whole exoskeleton is all metal and you can you know use magnets the xy gantry is made from uh, from steel combining materials such as steel and aluminum would lead to differences in thermal expansion so and on this machine they are using the an extruder but do we see some changes here uh, I see a huge fan sitting on, on the front. Yeah, and the load cell for perfect first, uh, first layer. You can print PLA with doors fully closed. Well, I'm doing that as well. Most of the times when I'm printing in PLA, um, I have the doors closed as well. Very rarely that, that I have some issues. So it's, it's going fine, it's, it's manageable. Active chamber heating control. Uh, control keeps the temperature optimal for the filament you are using, whether it is PLA, PEG, ASA. I do like this extruder. It's looking so sleek. 
printing flexibles. So there is an optional camera that you can add to this printer. Very easy. And I think, I, I don't know what the price is going to be from this camera, but don't, don't think that it is a very cheap one or a very expensive one. I think the price of this camera would be something between the 80 euros and the 100 euros, something like that. It's optimal when using Prusa Connect, you can monitor your prints and having those nice time-lapse footage as well. I think that would be an option, has to be. So the left side, the left one, is the power supply unit. The other side, it's the controller board housing. And you know, here you have the ethernet port, very nice, very convenient, but you can also use a USB drive. And one thing, there is a possibility to upgrade your Mark IV-S to this Core 1 uh, 3D printer. I, I would suggest if you are saving up money for the Mark IV-S, Save a little bit longer and go for a, you know, the Core 1 kit instead of rebuilding the whole Mark IV S. Because those, those conversion kits are like 400 euros. This is a beautiful machine. I, I don't like Mark IV and Mark IV S. Also the, you know, the ones that I have here, not original Prusas. In some ways they are a little bit. But anyways, this is a very beautiful machine. I do like in, uh, the, the style that Prusa has and, you know, fully enclosed. Core XY, uh, optional camera. If you have a Mark IV or a Mark IV-S, you can buy the conversion kit for a little bit more money, like three, 400 euros. And then you can make it into a Core 1. You can order them now. I will put the link in the description, not where you can buy it, because you know exactly where you can buy it. But um, an assembled version is 1,349 euros and a kit is 1,049 euros. So what do I think about the Prusa Core 1 3D printer? Well, I think that this 3D printer looks amazing. I do like the style, like mentioned. It is uh, something I think a lot of people already knew that something like that had to come sooner or later. This is a great answer to all the Core XY 3D printers that are on the market. And Prusa is saying like, hey, we can do better. It's just a European company. You know, the, the product looks promising. But that is my take on it. I'm going to see the Prusa Core 1 in real life. I hope to get a little interview with uh, Joseph Prusa or maybe Rudolf. Rudolf is also a very cool guy or uh, Mikolas, also a nice guy. Um, and then talk about the Prusa Core 1. 